Hello, this is Farhan again. And uh, now let's see how FT8 works on the SBTX. So um, I will try for 21 meters, which is 50, uh, 21 megahertz, which is 15 meters here. And as you can see, uh, I turn off the AGC. None of the digital modes do well with AGC. So no, now you can see that it's very quiet and you hardly see any um, noise here. Then we increase the IF gain until it just pops up. The noise just pops up here above the baseline. And the mode is FT8. And immediately you will see that we have started to decode uh, some signals here. And these decodes will start flowing here. You don't have to do anything else here at all. And finally, we'll also switch to macro here. Uh, so we are on uh, the macros are here. The F1, F2, F3 are for replying to CQs and F4, F7, F8 and F9 are for uh, calling CQ and replying to people who reply to your CQ messages, right? So I will start uh, this with calling CQ, which is F5 uh, here. And it will actually start on the every 15th second. So another four seconds through 57, 58, 59 and there. So now it's calling CQ and this call will last for about 12 seconds and the message is in orange. So that's the one that we are transmitting here, which is CQ VU2 ESC with my grid, which is MK97. Now let's hope that someone replies back. Usually it takes one more 15 second round for the decodes to happen properly. Uh, but hopefully, you know, we will have somebody replying to us. Uh, some stations are, are coming in right now. Uh, view to Bravo, Victor Bravo has been looking out for a signal. I've asked him to stand by. I hope he does call us. Uh, there it is, view to B BVB, ESE, and our reply is also going there automatically. So it's picked up the first reply here, and uh, we are replying back to view to BVB with their uh, return, uh, you know, um, signal strength. And hopefully, view to BVB will come back to us uh, with uh, 73s. And that is the end of this particular uh, QSO. So it's as easy as that. Uh, you really have to do very little here. It, it proceeds automatically. Uh, and if you would like to do this manually, you could do that as well. So I will um, uh, stop and look for others to be calling CQ and then reply back to that. So we will wait for someone to call CQ and try replying back to them. Uh, hopefully view to BVB will be back on the band and calling CQ. His signal is pretty strong and it will actually show up here. That's probably his signal, this one that you see here. So there it is. This is uh, view to BVBs, view to BVB CQ from MK97. He's nearby, and I have selected it, and I'm calling him back. So, in the next round, we will initiate this QSO with him. That started out, and view to BVB. This is view to ESC, and my location is MK97, which is my grid location. So having exchanged the grid locations with each other, uh, now we will exchange the signal strengths and that will actually conclude the QSO and we'll log the QSO here. So uh, both of us have given minus 10 to each other and uh, at the conclusion of this, we will log the QSO with the 73. So this QSO is already also logged in. And now I can actually look at our logbook 
and you will see that uh, the last QSO, uh, that one, was the one that we did with view to BVB. So uh, that's uh, how simple FT8 is uh, with the SBTX, and you would see that you know there are no wires, there's nothing to configure. You just switch it on and start um, logging your QSOs. Seventy-three.